dummy team. I am the Wounded Zebra. For four years, our group has run across rare and endangered bottles in misery, almost on their last leg. And I have made it my mission to make sure that they're put down to make Join me and the rest of the Scotch for Dummies as we punch these elusive bottles. We couldn't have asked for a better time. So, uh, did you have good weather? I mean, it was it was perfect. You know, I mean, it was one of those weekends where everything lined up just right, and we we did what we wanted to do. You so, scored, didn't you? Yeah, man. Yeah. He's, uh, hey, look at these guys over here. How you doing? So I was just telling Mark, uh, we went out on a zebra hunt this weekend. Uh, everything was perfect. Weather was great. Um, we kind of came into it. There was, a, there was a small chance of rain. We weren't sure what the, what the zebras were going to do for us this weekend. Um, we had two that we, uh, we were looking for. We had an ard bag. Uh, now his typical home uh, is usually around water, uh, moist soil, you know, peaty areas, stuff Sounds like that, right? right? Uh, so that's kind of where you look for them, where you hunt them. I caught one on uh, one of our game, game trail cameras. Uh, Drew sent it over to me. It was awesome. Uh, what was it? So it was. Uh, it was this this boy right here. That's, An Oogadale. That's our big Oogadale. <laughs> now I know that uh, a lot of our viewers know the story about the first Oogadale we we brought home. Uh, this one, you know, it's it's not a rare game, but it's always a good one to to bring home when you get the chance, right? Uh, so our bag, uh, no age statement on that one. Yeah, 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 man. That's that's why we hunt them. She's wounded. She's, she's super wounded. It, it needs to get, you know, I'm, I was glad to put this one out of its misery. It needed to go down. So Ardbeg traditionally lives around the, the, the peat bogs. Uh, it is not an aggressive species uh, unless provoked. If you provoke it, it, it could charge at you. So you got to be careful when you're coming up on it. But it's, it's got nice full flavor when you, uh, when you do it right. Uh, this one is uh, 54.2 ABV, so it is not to be trifled with, okay? A little bit peated, non-chill filtered, so good, it's a good bottle, man. Uh, we're, we're glad to have this one on the bar. So this was day one. I went out looking specifically for this bottle, uh, saw it down by the water's edge, uh, just kind of came up behind it, mercy kill. Nice. <laughs> Quick and easy. It didn't even really know what hit it. Um, that's the way to do it with the zebra. You just want to get it out of its misery. Well, you know what? You I know mean? what? Cheers to that. You know, I, I'm excited oh. that you actually put this one down. I remember the first time we ran across an art bag of Goodell and how it literally blew our mind. I don't know if we were quite ready for it. But needless to say, it did not disappoint. Yeah, absolutely uh, not. And, and there's so, no surprise that it's this popular and everybody wants to get a bottle of it. Run the horn. Three, three, five. Three, three. 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 Three five. All right. So three, everybody's five. three five but me. Everybody's three, three five. Three points. Three I'm seven sorry, five. Stifler over there. It's all good. Hey guys. Cheers. 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 Thanks, Cheers, for, watching. Thanks, Thanks for, watching. for watching. So that was day one of the hunt. Now while I was finishing up with this sard bag, I noticed some signs in the trees of a little more rare animal. Uh, so I did a little bit of scouting and kind of found some trails that I thought were interesting that might be something that I'd been looking for for a little bit. Uh, a wounded zebra we haven't uh, ever put down before. Uh, and I was lucky enough on day two to catch it looking at me behind a tree. Uh, so this one you gotta be, uh, you gotta be careful with. It's, it's uh, pretty elusive and wily, right? Uh, the compass box, no name. Uh, no name because you don't get very many of them, right? Um, so rare that they didn't even bother naming it. Um, dude, you never get a chance to put one of these down. 48.9% ABV. This is the brainchild of John Glazer, isn't it? Right, right. So the trick with the, uh, the no name is it gets confused if you run it in a circle. So you got to really kind of push it around a tree uh, and kind of just chase it around. It gets a little bit disoriented and then you can take yeah. it down. It's not something you can run right up on. It, it'll run away Without from you. Without getting disoriented yourself. You exactly. run around that tree, you get exactly. yourself dizzy, it exactly. gets away, right? So you got to be careful with it. Uh, now, that was a successful hunt as well. I enjoyed taking this one out. 
But while I was out in the trees, uh, we did run into something that I wasn't anticipating and uh, almost wasn't prepared for. When you're out in the field hunting wounded zebras, they are wounded, folks. They they can be aggressive if uh, not done properly. <laughs> so we uh, we had one that actually uh, charged at me um, and was a little more aggressive. Uh, yes. In, uh, is that a monster? It is a monster. <laughs> it is a monster. Now, uh, these come in two different flavors. Uh, this is the, uh, the easier version to take down. Uh, this is the regular peat monster. It's only 46% ABV. But there is a big brother a to this brother one, of that, one. Uh, that we have taken down. Uh, his carcass is right back here. You got that one. Uh, on it, yeah, remember. yeah. <laughs> that, that one you don't, you don't see hardly at all anymore. Uh, but this one was, uh, you know, fairly aggressive because it was on its its last sip, and there really wasn't uh, any choice for it. It was a fight or flight kind of situation, so it charged at me, and we had to put it down as well. Clever girl. So you weren't even looking for this. Nope, nope. It just came at me. So what? What are you gonna do? You know, <laughs> I, I mean, it is in season. It's compass box season right now. Three fives so, around the house. So everybody can do that math. Yeah, yeah I, three five all day. I wish we had more because I want to drink the rest of this time. <laughs> <laughs> <I'm thinking laughs> you, you really got lucky. You know, you can go on these hunts. You know. Time and time again, come back with nothing. But uh, you, you came back with three really quality wounded zebras. It here. was it was a successful hunt. So you got to be careful out there. You never know when one's going to come at you unawares. But uh, all in all, very successful. Uh, we bagged the two that I went out to get and got another one that was uh, needing to be put down. And and uh, you know, I, I think that we came away with a win-win-win on this one. I would say you did. Well, congratulations, man. I'm going to have to get out there in the field to go hunt with you. I think so. Times. I think so. Sounds like a good time. So if you guys want to share your stories of uh, your wounded zebra hunts, we would love to hear the tale. It's, it's always fun to go out. It's best to take a friend with you to kill these zebras. So, Mark, to the hunt. To the hunt. Cheers, everyone. Slauncher.